G'day guys, how's it going? This is Jordan, welcome back to Hitman 3. So what we are doing in today's episode is we are doing the Death in a Family mission at Dartmoor in England. And we're going to do it Silent Assassin, Suit Only and Master Difficulty. So we're going to go in, not grab any disguises whatsoever, assassinate old Alexa, Golden Girl's hairdo, Carlisle, and get the case file, which is going to be the really tricky part, and then escape unnoticed. So we're going to go with the basic loadout. And we're just going to change our suit into the winter coat because, you know, why wouldn't you? Doesn't count if you change your clothes before the mission. Alrighty, so we have motorcycled our way onto the moors. We're going to run past these fuck sticks at the gate and look for a gap in the wall. So this is going to be pretty standard to my other approach. The major difference... Shut up. Phineas, shut up, mate. The major difference will be that obviously I'm not going to be using the lawyer disguise. So what we're going to do is that Alexa kind of drones her way around the mansion. So we have to wait for her to meet with Phineas and then she makes her way upstairs to the office. Then she comes down to the, the lower levels and then she comes up to the middle level and checks around her office. And she also goes to Zachary's bedroom who is her brother who mysteriously died in the night. That's why Phineas is here. So we're actually going to use Zachary's bedroom as our location to get to Alexa because she goes in there with her bodyguard. So we have to take care of the bodyguard, take care of Alexa, and then somehow find our way up to her office. Mate, could you turn around? Could you just bugger off? There we go. Thank you, mate. So we're going to use the same approach that we used in our Silent Assassin video for this one. We're going to come through the hidden passage here. Ooh, come through the hidden passage. Look out. Hello, Poochie. G'day, mate. So we're going to lure the guard, knock him out, put him in the crate. We're going to knock out the lawyer, put him in the crate. Business as usual. But uh, we're not using this room with the lawyer. We're just clearing our path through to where we need to be. And once again, if we crouch down in this corner, when the guard comes in, he won't spot us. There we go. Now I'm just going to close that door. And then we subdue this bloke here. Chuck him in the box. Business as usual. Come on, mate. There we go. Nice and comfy. There's probably some old lady blankets in there for you to be nice and comfy on. You're not there for long, mate. You won't exist for long, mate. There we go. Good night. Have a nice nap, mate. You've been working very hard. Alrighty. So we open up the passage again. Drag my bald brother here over to the crate. Pick up all me shit and then continue on our way. Pick up me flash silenced pistol. Their shitty unsuppressed pistol. And I'm going to grab some distraction items here just in case I need them. Because we uh, we have to knock out Alexa's guard and get to Alexa in very rapid order. So I need to knock out her guard quickly. I'm also going to knock out this guard over here. Then we're going to speed things up because there's quite a long wait waiting for Alexa to finish her circuit around the mansion. I mean, she's an old girl. She's not going to knock around at a rapid pace. So we're going to knock this bloke out. I'm also going to come back and grab his pistol just in case because leaving pistols around the map can get spotted by random people on the other side of the map and then they come over and stuff up your run. So we're waiting for Alexa to head upstairs, head back down to this level. Then she's going to come in here and gloat over her brother's dead corpse. As you do. That's all right, love. Take your time understand you're not as young as you used to be she's going to go upstairs very quickly step into her office come back down talk to a painting because that's something that rational people do and then she's going to come in here and meet a very violent end here we go come on love there we go this is almost bearable when you speed it up there we go she's chatting to the butler 
chat into a picture because of course you would here she comes now I almost get spotted by a guard because he I thought he stopped by that pillar but he actually comes right back to the back here so we're going to chuck a brick at his head once he's not spotting us come on 47 take your time mate there we go and so I left, I should mention, I left a trail of coins here to keep her distracted. Just so that she wouldn't notice me taking out the guard. Now, obviously she's a target. So if she does notice... Yep, thanks Diana. Thank, yep, thank you very much. Shut up. Okay. So obviously she's a target. Even if she spotted us taking out her guard, we would very momentarily lose our silent assassin. But once she's dead... Uh, our silent assassin would be restored, obviously, because she's the only witness and she ain't going to be telling anybody. But I just wanted to use the coins to see if I could take out her guard and keep her distracted and stop her from noticing, which actually worked. So that was a bonus. So now we need to get up to Alexa's office. Now, luckily, we're actually in a pretty good spot. So if we head out here, we drop over the balcony and we climb up that drain pipe there. That actually leads directly to Alexa's office. And I sped this up because watching him scramble along these ledges is a bloody painful. Okay. So there's three guards we have to watch out for up here. There's two on the outside on this balcony. There they are. G'day, boys. And there's one inside. Now, this bloke is a real pain in the buttocks. But as long as you stay crouched and move pretty slowly... I don't know what I was doing here. I headed in completely the wrong direction. We need to go to the desk. I think I just ducked over here to get cover, but it's actually not necessary. As long as you keep moving slowly. Yep, good. Thanks, Diana. He stops just short of spotting you every time. So you can actually get over here. Now, he's not going to get too distracted. He's going to ignore that. Crouch down. Press the button on the chair. Opens up the safe. Now, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Now, we've already looked for the... Yeah, we've already looked around the office in the previous video. So we know that the code is 1975. That's the last time Alexa got a bit of action. So we've got the case file and we're on our way out. And we're just going exactly back along the path we used to get in. Yeah, that's right. He's not going to spot us. He's going to get a little bit curious, but we're going to be long gone while he investigates what he thinks he saw. Now here I had a lot of trouble getting off the bloody drain pipe. Hate it when you have a lot of trouble getting off the pipe. Alrighty. So over the rail, back through Alexa's office. I was contemplating trying to use this shortcut, but there are way too many people down there, so don't do that. If I had a disguise, it wouldn't be an issue, but obviously we're going without disguises for this one. So just back through the office, back through the old hidden passage. There we go. Classic old Scooby-Doo shit, this. All right. I'm just going to, I don't know why I'm making sure all these doors are closed. There's really no reason to. So back out the window where we entered the mansion in the first place. And we just have to be slightly worried about the guard who's wandering around. Down in the, not that bloke, don't worry about him. That bloke over there, but luckily he was going back the other way. G'day boys, bugger off. And back down the drain pipe. And away we go back out onto the moors to get me lovely dress shoes all dirty again so coming up probably tomorrow i'm going to do the sniper assassin version of this run so it will be master difficulty silent assassin suit only and sniper assassin it's pretty much exactly the same run but you bring your sniper rifle with you and i'll just be showing you how to get a sniper rifle up and to take her out and it's very, very similar to this, but I want to show you just because we're kind of working through the classic challenges. It's all right, Lucas. Don't worry about it, mate. I'll be fine, mate. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself, Lucas. And that's it. Uh, Silent Assassin, suit only, master difficulty. Good God, this music is loud. <laughs> Can't hear myself bloody thing. Can we... Can we? Yes, thank you very much, Hitman. Bloody hell. I think I just perforated my eardrums. There we go. So that's just confirming that we've got Silent Assassin suit only.
Ignore straight shot, that's from the next video. <laughs> And there we go, so that's Silent Assassin suit only, Master Difficulty in Dartmoor. Pretty easy, the most challenging part is getting to the case file because the timing with the guards can catch you out, but apart from that, very, very simple. So yeah, uh, stay tuned tomorrow for the Sniper Assassin video, but apart from that, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to help me grow the channel, consider subscribing. Any hints, any tips, any comments that you may have or any games that you'd like to see featured on the channel, chuck it down in the comments and I'll give it a look. But apart from that, once again, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time in Hitman 3. Thanks, guys. Bye.